So, lovely to be here. Um, so my, my talk is basically on global economic crisis, but mostly around the Māori perspective and how that will impact on our ability to achieve environmental aspirations. Now, just to, I'm putting a disclaimer on my talk to start with. Um, I'm going to speak from a kaitiaki perspective, not from a math perspective. So you can take that and tell them that, Joe. That's <laughs> yeah. it from me. So, thank you. Yeah. I won't worry about an intro. Take too long. So just some key Māori concepts that I thought would be quite good to start off, which is, and the first is a whakatauke. He whenua tai maha te whenua, he tangata māma te tangata. What this talks about is that people will, will die and pass on, but the land will stay for generations. So when we think about Māori and environmental aspirations, it's for perpetuity. It's not a short-term view, it's a long-term view. And Ngāori Whakatupuranga e heke mai. This talks about intergenerational wealth, not, not so much in an economic sense, but also in a social, <coughs> and environmental and cultural sense. So how do we continue to achieve our aspirations and create that intergenerational wealth? And there's two um, core <coughs> values that I want to talk about in regards to an economic crisis and our ability to achieve our environmental aspirations and resource sustainability use. And kaitiakitanga, which I'm guessing you're all familiar with, which is around guardianship, stewardship and care for the environment. But one that you may not be familiar with, which is kaifakahaidetanga, which is about um, entrepreneurship and management of assets and lands, not only for the care of the future, but also looking at how do we access markets as Māori through land use? How do we become sustainable um, with water use, with uh, in our farming practices? How do we continue to be sustainable? So two very different concepts, and I'm going to show you how an economic crisis may impact on those two concepts. So kaitiakitanga. I think one uh, key point is that Māori will continue to be kaitiaki whether we're in an economic recession or not. And that is an, an obligation passed on through generations. We can't, at the end of the day, say, I will give this back. That's not a choice. Um, and that's shown through ancestral myths, through the creation that we are kaitiaki of the land. So what the re recession does, it makes it difficult, in some sense, in some ways, for whānau, marae, hapu and iwi to achieve their environmental aspirations. So, Things like potential lack of funding, I'm doing very pragmatic. <laughs> um, potential lack of funding available for projects, low socioeconomic state of Māori rural communities, and that may have a further impact on how they participate. Unable to participate effectively in regulatory environments, so how do they continue to write submissions, um, engage with MAF, with DOC, with regional councils, when we're all in an economic crisis and we're struggling? Environmental objectives and priorities may take a back seat to economic priorities. So how do we balance still achieving what we want environmentally with some of the priorities shifting to an economic focus? And having the people base and skills to achieve aspirations. So when we see an economic crisis in a rural community, we're looking for work. So those people move from their whānau lands and their ancestral lands to find work. We now don't have the people in the skills base to do what we need to do to achieve environmental aspirations. So that's kaitiakitanga. <coughs> Kaifakahaidetanga, again, kaitiaki in the face of a global economic recession. This is a little bit different because what we're looking at is how do we enhance or create a sustainable use of the resource, not so much in just care, but also generating wealth. So access to funding may be inhibited. We might be looking at harder lending criteria from banks for capital venture projects. Challenging of balancing environmental objecti objectives versus the economic objectives. So how do we um, make good decisions economically but still achieve what we want environmentally and sustainable and sustainable use? We have a we plan with a long term view of sustainability as Māori and perpetuity, whether we have a resource scarce environment or we have loaded resources. So how do we continue to plan to do that? And again, people based on skills. Do we have those on the land? Opportunities um, in an economic crisis, we have tree settlements and assets. One word. <laughs> tree settlements and assets. And so here we have the <coughs> government pushing all tree settlements forward to 2014. We're going to see a lot of settlements, a lot of capital being returned back to Māori. 
that allows us to start with capital to be able to um, invest in, in projects. Building capability in an economic crisis environment. So the beauty about Māori is that we're collective people. We're community based. With our collective effort we can leverage off each other's skills and move forward in the future. Thinking smarter. So how do we use those resources that we do have in a collective way to move <coughs> forward and be more innovative. So where to from here? For Māori, learn how the recession is impacting on our environment and, our, and on our community, but also learn how the recession is impacting on our key Māori relationships. So what can TPK deliver now that they weren't able to deliver back then because of an economic recession? Um, be aware of those constraints and our ability to achieve our aspirations. Stakeholders, and what I mean by stakeholders are the agencies that are engaging with Māori. Um, Māori will continue to need to express their aspirations of kaitiakitanga and kaiwhakahaeretanga in an economic recession. Learn more about how the global economic recession will impact your Māori communities and who you engage with and what you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis and potentially adapt your processes to allow for the impacts of the recession to be taken into consideration. And that's us.